Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we are finally doing my Sephora VIB sale haul. There were some issues with my shipping and everything, so it took a little longer to get here, but I'm so excited. I finally have everything. I ordered stuff online and then I also picked up some stuff in store. So we've got a good amount of products. I've got skin, hair, nail, and makeup so we've got a good variety and I'm excited to share with y'all what I picked up if you want to see my recommendations video I will put that up in the cards also put it down below just if you're curious to see you know what my favorites from Sephora are obviously I didn't buy everything in that video so if you just want to know what my favorite products from Sephora are definitely check out that video make sure you grab something to drink grab a snack sit back relax enjoy this video and let's go and get into it cheers so I've got all my goodies here. I'm going to start with hair, skincare, and then I actually got some nail polish, which is very random for me, but I saw it and it was so intriguing. So I'll share that with y'all in a little bit, but I had to restock on my pattern stronghold gel. This is my favorite, favorite hair gel. This is my third uh, tub of this. I absolutely love it. It's the best hair gel. Um, it doesn't make your hair feel crunchy or dry. It doesn't leave a any kind of residue. I hate when gels leave like a white residue where it looks like dandruff. This does not do that. It comes in this huge tub. It's only $25 for this big thing. So it does take me a while to go through this. I use this on my kids. It's amazing. Anytime I'm doing a slick hair style or I'm doing braids, this is what I'm using. It is the absolute best. You don't even have to shampoo it out. Even if you just rinse it out, it rinses out completely. It's just amazing. It's the best hair gel. So I had to restock on that. All right, and this is a skincare product that I've always wanted to try from Caudalie. I love Caudalie skincare. Um, so I saw this and I had to try it. This is the Deep Cleansing Exfoliator. Um, and it's exactly that. It's a physical exfoliant. It says it has volcanic sand microbeads. Um, I have used this since I purchased it because I really wanted to try it out. It's a pretty intense scrub. The little, I guess, volcanic sand microbeads, they're very, very, very tiny, but it's a pretty intense scrub, so you definitely want to be careful. Um, but I really like it so far, so I'll keep using it and uh, uh, keep y'all updated. But I just love Caudalie. And this is just something that I've never tried from them and I really wanted to try. So got that. I think that was the only, yeah, that was the only skincare product that I purchased. Most of my skincare is actually drugstore. So I don't use a ton of skincare from Sephora, but I wanted to test that out. And then for my nails, I saw this little duo and it, this was actually already on sale. And then I got the additional you know sale on it so I just really wanted to try this uh, I very rarely paint my nails because just with all the things that I do kickboxing jujitsu like everything like I I just it's really hard for me to maintain nail polish on my nails so I saw this little duo and I thought this would be the perfect just everyday nail duo nail combination for me so this is from the brand nails ink and I saw this duo. So you get this really pretty kind of pearlescent, very, very, very sheer pink polish. And then you get this rosy, it's clear, but it's got like this rosy tint to it. It reminds me a lot of the Dior, uh, what is it called? Like the Glow Nail Polish. I've always wanted to try it. It reminds me of their lip glow oil, but like a nail polish version. So it's supposed to just give your nails like a hint of pink. So I got this little duo. It's actually what I have on my nails. Hopefully y'all be able to kind of see what it looks like, but it's really pretty. The You can use them together or you can use them separately. You don't have to use them together. I just went ahead and used them together. I love this. I'm so glad I picked this up. This is perfect for those of you who just want your nails to look nice and groomed and manicured. Just very professional, very nice looking, but you don't want to deal with an actual nail color. This is great. So I checked it this morning on the Sephora site and it is sold out, this duo. 
but um, you can obviously buy this off of their website. I don't know if they sell this brand anywhere else, but these are so good. So I had to pick them up. It's really random. I never buy nail polish, but I saw this and I couldn't pass it up. Right, and then I did get a couple samples with my online order. I decided to go with the Kosas foundation. This is the Revealer Skin Improving Foundation with SPF 25. I've never tried this foundation, so I thought, you know, why not? Normally, like, the samples never really speak to me, but I figured if I had to pick a sample, I'll just try this. You never know. And then I also got a sample of the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. I've always heard really good things about this. And when it comes to samples, I do like to experiment with eye creams and things like that. So I thought I would go and try this, but those are the two little samples I got. All right, so I think I'm going to start with the stuff that I just restocked um, that I already have, but I just needed another one. Um, the first being my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Press Powder. I love this so much. It's my favorite setting powder ever ever and the one that i have right now is like hanging on by a thread so i got a brand new one they do have this in two other colors they have it in like a banana color and then they have it in like a peachy pink color i haven't tried either of those um i just love the translucent it doesn't show up on my skin which i love but it sets my makeup down this is hands down the best setting powder if i could recommend one setting powder it would be this so I've got this. I have not quite used up my other one. It's literally like crumbling though, so any day now I'm probably just going to toss it. But I got a restock of that. Super excited. And then I also restocked my Anastasia Brow Freeze. This one I completely already used up, so I've been waiting for this. Um, but I love this. I've been through an entire full size of the full size of this I've been through an, uh, a mini size of this and I've now repurchased another full size it's just the absolute best it is my favorite brow gel when I don't have it I miss it and I see a difference in my brows so had to restock that and then this is not really a restock but I wanted to try a different shade of the Rare Beauty Positive Light Under Eye Brightener. I was actually shocked to see this in store. I didn't plan on buying this but I went in store and I saw that they had this in stock so I just grabbed it because this is never in stock. Um, but I, I currently have the shade light medium and it's great for when I don't have any self tan, but I think just kind of moving into the summer, uh, the shade medium is going to be much, much better because I've realized the past few times I've used light medium, it's just been a little too bright for me, a little too light on the under eyes. So I picked up the shade medium and I'll kind of go between the two shades. So not like a restock. I still have plenty of the other shade, but I couldn't believe they actually had this in store. They actually had all of the shades in stock in the store. So if you're online and you can, and you don't see it, definitely check. Um, you can check actually through the app. You can check and see what stores have it in stock. And then um, this is not like a repurchase, but I have the Glossier U perfume and I wanted to get the Rollerball because they just launched this. They have the solid um, little like... I don't know, like solid balm that you can, you know, put in your purse, but I really wanted to get the Rollerball. This is my favorite perfume. I wear this every single day. Oh, it smells so good. And I wanted something that I could take with me in my purse to touch up whatever. So I grabbed that. I love this perfume so much. So if you've been wanting to try it, but you don't want to commit to the full size, getting the Rollerball might be a nice idea. Um, of course, you can always go in store and smell it, but if you want to like test it out, you can get the little roller ball so you don't have to buy the full size. Oh, actually, I have another kind of repurchase. Um, I went ahead and repurchased the Danessa Myricks Vision Cream Cover. I used up mine completely last year. I had a full, full size. This is actually not the full size. This one is 0.34 ounces. The one I had was a full fluid ounce, if I'm not mistaken. It's extremely pigmented, which I'm actually really glad that they have the smaller size because the full size took me forever to go through. So I decided to pick this up and I picked it up in a different shade. I'm normally um, N4, but I went ahead and picked up N4.5. This is a, a, a newly added shade and um, I felt like this might match me a little bit better in the summer. So it looks like it's really thick. If you've never tried it, this is basically like pure 
pigment. It is the most full coverage foundation I have ever owned. It's really full coverage, but that's the shade 4.5, which I think should be a good match for me. My hand is pretty tan right now. I spent all day at the pool, but I feel like this will be a good shade match for the face. And I like the undertone of this one too. It's nice and neutral. So anyway, that is a repurchase. I haven't had this in quite a while. I think I used, I used mine up like the beginning of 2022. So it's been basically a full year that I haven't had this and I just wanted to get it again. Those are all of my like repurchases, restocked products. Now everything I have is new and we're gonna keep with the complexion. This is kind of, this was a last minute purchase. I was originally gonna get the Patrick Ta cream foundation. I actually asked y'all in stories what y'all thought of it, if you tried it, like did you like it? Cause it's a pretty expensive, foundation but I liked that it comes with a powder so you get the foundation and the powder and I wanted to use it to spot conceal not actually as a foundation so I had that in my cart but then I saw this and I decided to get this instead I'm not saying I won't get the Patrick Ta foundation because y'all actually the feedback that I got from y'all you seem to really enjoy it and you said it's a really good foundation but I saw this and I thought this would probably fit more of what I'm wanting I don't know we'll see i've never tried this i haven't heard anything about it but i saw this and i wanted to just try it because i love makeup forever so i picked up their underpainting color correcting palette um this is what it looks like and it comes with four shades so it comes with two correctors a green and a pink and then two concealer shades which i love that because i feel like my skin tone it's just always different like every single day my I feel like I'm never the same shade it's weird like my skin tone changes a lot so I love that it's got two concealer shades in here I like that it's got these correctors I don't really care for this pinky one which I will use and try out but I really like this green one because I feel like when I'm spot concealing sometimes I feel like pimples or like redness on my skin I feel like I can never truly cover them up so I wanted something that had everything like I could correct whatever redness I had on my face and then just go in with a concealer right on top and again I have no idea if this is any good I've never heard any reviews about it I've heard a lot of good things about their foundation palettes and things like that but I've never heard anything about this so I wanted to give this a go we'll see I got it in the shade light this is the second lightest shade they do have a very light shade but I thought this one would match me better in the kind of spring and summer. So we'll give her a go. I'm actually really excited to try this. So I got some blushes. Um, I don't know why, because I don't need blush. And I really don't wear a lot of blush. Like the only blush I wear is my Bare Minerals one. But I just, I really wanted to try these. So I'm on this Rose Ink kick. Like her Tinted Serum and her SPF 30 Serum I am obsessed with those. I've been wearing those every single day. So I've been wanting to try some more Rose Ink products just because I love everything that I have from her. So I wanted to try her Radiant Lip and Cheek color. And I actually purchased this in store because I feel like the swatches weren't that great. I don't know. I couldn't tell what any of the shades looked like. So I wanted to go in store and actually look at the shades, swatch them and this shade looks gorgeous so i ended up picking up the shade azalea i did already put my finger in it um i haven't used this on my cheek yet but i did put it on my lips the other day and it was really pretty so yeah i'm really curious to try this i've heard great things about this again i love rose ink i love her cream bronzer i was gonna pick up her highlighter but then i decided not to so um, maybe i'll pick that up in the future but i just really wanted to try this these are refillable which is great and this color just spoke to me so i'll swatch this for you again this is the shade azalea i was kind of going between this and heliotrope but heliotrope looked too pale for my lips so I wanted something that had a little more substance. But yeah, this color looks so pretty. So, 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 so pretty. So I don't know. I've just been wanting to try more from Rose Ink because I've had such good luck with her makeup products. 
and so yeah i just wanted to pick up one of her blushes all right so i picked up two products from Danessa myricks one of them is a blush as well uh, this is her vision flush all over face color i do have her um vision flush in tiara it's a really pretty uh kind of cool champagne highlight i love it i use it all the time so i wanted to kind of play with some more colors of these um this is in the shade tutu it is so bright pink it is definitely not a blush that i normally gravitate towards but just for some reason lately i've been loving these brighter pink blushes i know it's super trendy right now with the dior blush that everyone goes crazy over i love the persona blush in bubble i've been really enjoying this shade so i wanted to pick up a bright pink kind of cream blush and i wanted to try out this formula i've never um used this formula as a blush so this is the shade 22 you can see it's like a pretty bright pink all right this is like bubble gum pink oh my gosh but I just thought this would be so pretty in the spring and summer with a nice tan. And uh, these formulas aren't overly dewy to my knowledge. So I thought this would be really nice. Yeah, not dewy at all. Uh, it's an all over face color so you can use it. I think you can even use this on the eyes. Um, and I was even thinking I could use it on the lips as well. Kind of use that as a lip and cheek color. So I got that shade. I also got this because I've been wanting to try this for years and I've just never picked it up, but decided to pick it up in the sale. So this is the shade uh, Nutcracker. Again, same thing, it's the Vision Flush, um, but this is in the shade Nutcracker. And I always see Danessa use this as a contour shade. So I wanted to try it as a cream contour and also as a lid color. Right, so that's the shade Nutcracker. So it's a nice kind of cool tone shade. I thought that'd be great for contour. And then honestly, I'm really excited to try this on the eyes, just like as an all over wash of color. I love these kind of taupey browns. So anyway, again, I just wanted to experiment more with this formula. I've had such good luck with Tiara. So, and I've never tried these anywhere else on the face so i thought this would be kind of fun to play with so these blushes i didn't actually purchase in the sephora sale they are available at sephora but i actually got these in pr and i just wanted to share them with you these are the new armani uh, luminous silk glow blushes and i just wanted to show y'all what they look like so this is the shade 50 these are all powder blushes Shade 50. This is the only shimmery one, I believe. I think all the other ones are matte. Um, and then this is the shade 30. I'm actually wearing this one today with um, with another one underneath, which I'll show y'all. Uh, this is the shade 40. This one looks really pretty. It's kind of like a orangey, like coral reddish orange, really pretty. And then this is the shade 52. So I'm wearing 52 today, which is a nice bright pink with the shade 30, which is that kind of peachy one. So these are the two that I'm wearing on my cheeks today. That's what the blushes look like. Starting on this side, we have 52, then 30, then 40, and then 50, which is the shimmery, really shimmery. It's like a pink with a gold a really strong gold uh, shimmer to it. All right, so I have one eyeshadow and then two lip products. So I have been wanting to try this for so long. I Well, okay, I say that. I used to have this eyeshadow and like years ago, I think I had it in a palette and I wanted it in a single because I saw Katie Jane Hughes use this in a recent video and it just made her remember how just gorgeous this eyeshadow is it's always sold out in store so i decided to pick it up in the sale actually i think it was sold out online for a little bit too um but this is the urban decay moon dust sparkly eyeshadow in the shade space cowboy this has been around for so long this is an og product from urban decay but i thought this was just so gorgeous again i've had this in my collection at some point and I had it in a palette and I just wanted to get it again just to keep in my makeup bag for those days when I want a little sparkle in the eyes. It's actually what I have on my eyes today. I have a little bit of a cream shadow with this on top. 
you put this on top of any eyeshadow and it's gonna make it look like a wet glossy eyeshadow you can wear it alone which is probably how i'm mostly gonna wear it it's so beautiful so so beautiful you can so i have it on this finger right here but it just it looks wet like it's such a beautiful oh such a beautiful eyeshadow and the base of it is like a nice kind of beige so it doesn't look too silvery or too white on the eyes like i feel like because the base is more of a beige kind of tan peachy shade it just blends into at least my skin like really really well so i was super excited to pick this up this is going in my makeup bag and I cannot wait to just wear that all over the eyes in the summertime with just like the sunlight. It's just going to look so beautiful. Even at the pool, like if I just want to put something on my eyes, it's going to look so beautiful. So I'm so excited to have that. All right, so I have two lip products left. The first is a recommendation that I got from Ingrid Nelson last summer. And I just never purchased it. I meant to purchase it and then I don't know what happened I just never did but I'm always looking for a good lip balm for the pool that has an SPF I've tried the one from Aquaphor it tastes awful it doesn't look good on the lips like I I did not like the Aquaphor one it tasted awful I I hated it so Ingrid actually recommended this one this is from K Skin it's Winnie Harlow's brand uh this is the Isle lip balm SPF 30 and it says it's water resistant for 40 minutes, which I thought was really cool um, But this is what it looks like. It's a cute little brown too. I actually really like her packaging of all her products This is the only product that I've tried from K skin But I really do like all of the packaging and then open it up And that's the applicator. I wore this all weekend this is amazing. It doesn't leave any kind of white residue on your lips. It doesn't taste funny. It has a really nice, is it like vanilla? Well, it smells kind of vanilla-y. It could be the shea butter that's in here or shea oil that I'm smelling, but it's a nice kind of warm scent. It's really thick, almost like a, a lip mask, like a very cushiony, moisturizing lip mask, but it has a ton of shine to it. This is is so good so if you're looking for a good lip balm to protect your lips but that also feels good and looks good this one is really really good thank you Ingrid for recommending this to me because this is a winner I love it and I actually want to buy a couple more one for my purse one for my pool bag just have them everywhere so I always have some kind of lip protection um, yeah, really really good and then the last lip product that I bought is another glaze lip oil from in beauty project and I did not originally purchase this one because I was kind of confused about what this was um, so I have a Glaze donut. I have berry jam and then I have candy apple which is at home in my makeup bag um, But this one's called mystery glaze and I was always confused about that. I was like mystery. Does that mean? Like, you just don't know what you're going to get. Like, I was confused about what Mystery Glaze meant. But it's called Mystery Glaze because it's one of those, like, transforming lip oils. So it looks kind of clear, kind of like pinkish clear in the packaging. But when you apply it, it um, changes color on your lips, which is so perfect because I always say that these are dupes for the Dior lip oils. And this one is an exact dupe for the shade pink, which is the one that I used to have. And I love this. So I'm actually wearing this on my lips right now, but I'll apply a little bit more. And it just gives your lips the perfect little hint of pink. I'm so glad I tried this. I was always just so confused about the name of it. I just didn't know what mystery meant, but that's what it means. It's just kind of like transforms so good these are all uh lightly sweetened with stevia which i love because if you like lick a little bit it tastes really good i cannot say enough good things about these these are so amazing so i'm excited to have this one in my collection because this is exactly like the dior one except way better so picked that up and that is it for my 
haul. That's all the stuff that I picked up. I'm super excited to dig into everything. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you have all your notifications on so that you know when I post my next video. My next video will be a full try on of all of these products. I cannot wait to try this Makeup Forever palette. Like I'm really excited about this. Hopefully it works. I really hope the formula is really good because if it is, this is going to be an amazing product to keep in my makeup bag. So anyway, that will be my next video. Thank y'all so much for being here. Remember, I love you. God loves you. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.